The New Testament begins with not one, but four biographies of Jesus of Nazareth. Why four? As we read through the Old Testament, we're given clues to the promised Messiah. No other holy book offers such evidence to provide a rational basis for belief. Hundreds of specific details are given, like the town of his birth, the price of his betrayal, and the manner of his death. As to his position, the prophets said he would be both sovereign and servant. As to his person, the Messiah would be both man and God. Matthew presents the sovereign, Mark the servant, Luke the son of man, while John introduces us to the son of God. Each author uses his own techniques to accomplish his mission. Matthew, a despised tax collector, is a shocking choice for the premier book of the New Testament unless we realize his challenge was to present the rejected sovereign of Israel, the king anointed with spittle and given a crown of thorns. Graham Strogi points out that there are 129 Old Testament references in Matthew, verifying that Jesus is the Messiah King. Mark, a confidant of Peter, had failed on a mission trip with his cousin Barnabas and the Apostle Paul. So God gave him the task of portraying the perfect servant who didn't give up. Later, Paul, who had been disappointed in Mark, described him as profitable. His time in Christ's school certainly paid off. Mark's writing emphasizes Christ's deeds, not his words. You don't want a servant who talks, but who works. Luke was a medical doctor, a traveling companion of Paul, and a respected historian. He presents Christ as physician priest, healer of stricken humanity, physically and spiritually. Dr. Luke is known for his observant eye. With his good bedside manner, he has access to the intimate stories of women given all through his biography. John, who calls himself the disciple whom Jesus loved, was the son of a fisherman from Galilee and one of the Lord's inner circle. John amazingly writes with a 700 word limit, the vocabulary of an eight year old child. Though using simple words like life, love and light, John reveals a world of vast mystery when the eternal God entered time and space. He gives us his aim in writing his book, a purpose that he could share with his fellow authors. These are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. And that's a scripture snapshot explaining why there are four Gospels.